Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name is Patrick Tool. I'm your neighborhood uh, video editor, and I'm here with my buddy Zach Heath here. Hey. At his place in Boston, Massachusetts, we're about to build him a computer. Now, Zach, what are you going to use this computer for primarily? I'm using it primarily for gaming and digital illustration. Absolutely. So we're building him a PC that's going to be good for those needs. It's going to like take care of all his uh, his you know picture editing needs and. It's going to be pretty sweet. We're going to get pretty hot and sweaty in this little apartment. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm feeling optimistic about it. You ready to do this? Yes, yeah, I'm ready to do it. So, first of all, processor. i7. Yes. Yeah. 4770. Mm. No K. No K. Next up, we got the, we got, what is it? You got 16 gigabytes of. 16 gigabytes of RAM. G Skill Rip Jaws RAM. That's going to be, that's way more RAM than you're going to need for like a year. But, that's yeah. it. actually, for. For your photo editing needs, that's going to be yeah, it's going to be very helpful. Just Photoshop and Illustrator, auto program. Yeah, more RAM, faster uh, rendering. Exactly. Now for hard drives, we got the SSD. We got a, what is this? 120 gigabyte. That's 120 gigabyte. Yeah, that's going to be good for a boot drive. That's, that's a, like a boot drive. That is the one thing that I wish I had gotten a bigger thing of because okay. everything that I put on that on that drive yeah. boots up immediately, and it's so like you can see the difference. Like it's not. It's not so much the processor, it's not so much the RAM, it's the solid state drive because it has to load all these assets from the drive and these, uh, you know, traditional hard drives are the only thing that would move in parts in it still. It needs to, yeah. you know, it's like a record player, like literally. Well, right now. A magnetic record player. Yeah, this is a uh, ter one terabyte drive. That's going to be good for, you know, you don't, file, but... I needed a two terabyte drive for my video editing because I, because it just eats up space no matter what, and I, I that's still not enough space. But for photo editing, not that much space. It still takes a lot of space for high resolution photo, but yeah. still. So next up, we got the. Uh, 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 take care of that last. Uh, got the power supply, 750 watt. Now, this is a beast friggin' power supply. Yeah. Like you went overboard, which is usually a good idea. It's a good choice. And it comes in a lovely velvet case, like a bottle of Hennessy. So it kind of makes you feel good when you're opening it. Next we got the, the Z87 Pro yeah. Asus motherboard. And there we go. Four gigabyte, four gigabyte. GA GTX 760. Yeah. Now that is that is a beautiful graphics card right there. Yeah. That's a for the win edition. I don't really know what that means. I, it's either for the win or fuck the world. But I think it's <laughs> I think it's for the win. Probably for the win. Yeah. I think that might be like a marketing thing. I've got now I've got the 770. However, Mine is two gigabytes of yes. DDR RAM. Yours is four, four gigabytes. gigabytes. So we'll see which one. I mean, I think mine's gonna come out on top, but I think the four gigabyte is gonna give you an advantage in the future with the new console generations coming out and all that. Nonsense. And that's what I was thinking. I was just trying to. I was planning ahead when I wanted to purchase the four gigabyte version. Next up, we got the case. Yep, right here, the Rosewell case. Is that? Rosewell? Yeah, Rosewell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, What's the model? Do you know it? Well, don't worry about it. There's the model right down there. That's, I noticed that it's way lighter and more compact than mine, which is the uh, Fractal. Fractal Design R4 uh, Define case. Yeah. And it is it is a fantastic case, but I should warn you, anybody who's looking at, out there to, look, to buy a PC, and you're looking at this case, it's fucking massive, dude. It is gigantic. Yeah, well, not only like height-wise, but width-wise. Yeah, it's, it's mine. Fractal is like, I don't know, maybe this much thicker. Yeah. And of course we got our was it DVD burner Asus yeah. who gives a crap fifteen dollar yeah whatever use it once Asus, and then DVD burner. actually I get a lot of use out of my out of I got the yeah. same one I think so that's what we're working with looks pretty good so let's get this build underway this is some fancy ass shit right there cables a little extravagant. Here's the fan, and as you can see here, what all this is, basically this, I order a full modular power supply. Okay, so we placed our power supply. I did it for you while you were reading that. Yeah, but you put it in backward back. No, I didn't. Yeah. I did. You did. <laughs> so Expert. So we've mounted our power supply, all we gotta do is uh, screw it in. Alright, so let's see. Those are the case screws. Do you notice a, a difference in the air quality uh, right now as opposed to 30 seconds ago? Can you just fucking 
five. Yeah, I fart. Thanks. Okay, now the other thing we should do while we're here mm -hmm. is we should hook up our um, our giant power cable to the motherboard and string it through the back end. So, we've got our power supply in the case. We've got that out of the way. So next we're going to start messing with that beautiful motherboard you got and uh, processor. Let's get this out of the way. Alright, so... Bigger than you thought it would be, isn't it? That's what I say to that. Take it out of the bag. That's step one. Take it out of the bag. <laughs> Are you sure? Here we go. The 4770. <laughs> this is the most nerve-wracking part of the build. Yeah. Because this processor is an expensive piece of hardware and it's that big. So it's... Oi! Right. Here we go. down. I nothing like been forcefully inserted. I literally just just gonna have to close this and basically hope for the best, right? That's right. Oh, that was not the best. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm sweating like a pig. Stuck pig. Stuck pig. I thought a stuck pig was dead. Well, I think that the um, point is a stuffed pig would be sweating a lot because it's already on, on fire. Uh... So basically, you can't just put rams willy nilly into these slots. You can't just put rams willy nilly into these slots. Yeah, you want it. You want them to be in the. Uh... The Proper. correct slots. Now every motherboard is going to be differently. Now every motherboard is going to be differently. But I know for a fact that this motherboard, the two gold slots are our first slots. If I only have one RAM, it goes here. Who has one RAM? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> but I have two RAMs, so it's going to go here. So let's put that motherfucker in. Shove them in there. That's what I do. When I build computers, I just shove things together and see what happens. Rip jaw. Rip jaw. Rip, let's see the ridges for rip jaw. For extreme ridges and rip jaw action. Mm. They'll just pop off as you uh, shove them in. I get a free sticker. Yeah. Yeah, you can put that on your st stupid uh, bike. Your stupid bike. <laughs> you put it on your bike. Just wait for it to click. There we go. Satisfying. Okay, now that the RAM is in, let's install that heatsink. Well, in our case, it's just the stock fan. All right, let's do this. And I am an expert. Of course you are. Mash the hole. Right, so push and rotate. Zach, that took you about 30 seconds. It took me about 45 <laughs> to an hour. Now, should I plug this into the... Uh... Yeah. Okay. To the employment cave. Thanks, <laughs> oh. Off to work. Mm. We got our motherboard all set. We got our RAM installed, our uh, yeah. processor, motherboard. all that. Uh -huh. Uh, so now it's time to put a couple of things in the case that uh, that we don't want in the way when we install the motherboard. So first up, we got this beautiful DVD drive. DVD drive. Uh, here we go. Ta da! There we go. Flies in nice and smooth. Uh, Ah, there we go. So let's find the uh, adapter for this solid state, state drive. And oh, there it is. Wow. Solid state drives, if you don't have one, get one because they're they just make everything so much faster. Look how shiny. Oh yeah. Yes, and yes I did fart. 
That's what you're wondering. I wasn't wondering that. I well, was wondering well, why the big screwdriver is. It happened. We're about to install the hard drive. And there's a the click. Now it's ready to put the motherboard in the case. This is probably the trickiest part of the build. Yeah. So the motherboard, we're going to take it out. We just put it in here to pencil in a couple of uh, motherboard places because like there's there's these holes. Mm -hmm. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes yeah. um, on the motherboard, and there's many more holes on the actual in the inside the case. So you want to make sure you're screwing in the motherboard risers to the correct place. So yeah, let's start screwing them in. Okay. You think, you think that they assume computer people have tiny papers. Before we put the mother boy in. You have to kiss an American flag. IO shield first. Let's see that match it three. Okay, so I guess we can put it in like so. So my friend Will says it's, it's the don't forget the testicles. Don't forget the testicles. It's the most important part of build. He couldn't be more right. I mean, at the end, it's tradition in the DIY computer world to when you're done with the computer to just rub your balls all over it. So don't let us forget that. I mean, we get to the end before we boot it up. You know, we got it. Okay, motherboard's in. Yo, we have these SATA cables. We go here. Connect your say this. Can't see shit with that hairy hand of yours. Boom. We got two beautiful hard drives plugged in. And optical drive. There we go. Zach, let me ask you a question. What? If your computer is neat on the inside, does that mean your spirit is neat? No, I say it's completely the opposite. Okay, so the neater your uh, your computer case, the dirtier your spirit. Yep. And the worse person you are. Yep. So you're smiling right now. Are you crying on the inside? I have no idea the world pain I'm in. Okay, let's get the next thing ready. If it plugs in, it's good. set and then we just like put it on the shelf yeah just a my if that's what you want to do you want to just spend you know no i want to play some fucking games all right you play some fucking games play some fucking games all right
a long, strange journey. I witnessed this from just a collection of boxes become the the entity we see before us. So let's turn it on. Do the honors. Oh, button. building for you. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Zach and I had made a mistake. We had connected the case fans to both the motherboard and the power supply, so they were getting power from both places, and that caused the motherboard to short out. It was an honest mistake. We figured it out in the morning, and the computer booted right into post with no issues. Zach has been using the PC for close to a month now, and he says he couldn't be happier. It handles every game he throws at it, and his illustration workflows have never been faster. To close out the video, I decided to show you some Borderlands 2 running at maxed out settings on Zach's PC. Hey, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards, you. Well, in the merry month of May, no from me home, I started left the girls and two were nearly broken hearts and knew that father dear kissed me, darling mother, drank a pint of beer, me grief and tears, this mother than not to reap the corn and leave for rain with corn and blood, a stout with corn and bun, his ghost and garments and run, your pair of robes to rot, the love of the bugs and freight, and all the dogs on the rocky road, and double the one to keep a boy, and to hair and tongue, and down the rocky road, and all the ways to double the mech for all we got, and mull and garment, and so we are start the way we like this morning we are in there we touch the ground the floor they can't be hard to drink and that's what I used to do when there is only for drink and they hear the last you smile laugh and all the while ask me curious to touch your heart and when they ask me was I hired and wages I required to lie was all the fire of the rocky road to double and one to three for five one to hair and turn them down the rocky road all the way to double and one for lolly car